All right, so I know I'm gonna get a little bit of flack for this, but Vi actually feels pretty good right now. And I'm talking about 10.3, guys. I decided to make a Vi deck following a little bit of a buff to the Slizzard. I just wanted to see how it would pay off. And I felt like having this less expensive made room for alternative plays like the Succubus. And it synergizes very well. I've seen a lot of Succubus decks, but I find it actually complements Vi perfectly because... Again, it's a play, but this is the play, but if this gets answered somehow, then this can actually save us, and it just feels really comfortable and cozy here. We have lots of consumes in a deck like this, and sometimes more consumes than we need, so this is just really good payoff as well. And, um, of course, Doldu Lock does act like a tutor for Vi, right? It puts Vi at the top of our deck from round 2 to 3, but we can also make a Succubus from it, so the synergy just felt great with this. And I find a lot of decks right now in the meta are teching for Swarm, but there's not as much tech for Tall Removal, and most often you'll see maybe a deck have one or two Tall Removal, which is okay in this case because every second unit we're playing is extremely tall, and they're not going to be able to answer all of them. So this gives us the ability to win round one, bleed round two, even if it means going a card or two down into round three because we can't get card back, maybe because they use the tall punish. But then in round three, they don't have it left. And then all of a sudden we have 20 point per turn slams for three turns. You know what I mean? It makes a big difference and it's very hard to keep up with. So... We just want to get this card out there, we want to consume this card, it goes back in deck, we want to find this card again and play it and consume it and repeat the process, and we have many ways to do so. Oniromancy is going to be able to tutor it out, Iroquax is going to be able to tutor it out when we play it on melee, it'll also help brick their best play potentially. Let's say we're playing against Elves and we take their Simlas out or their Vernaciel out, let's say we're playing against Skellige and then we take their Fakusha out, they're losing huge deployabilities on some of their best cards. If we're playing against um, Nilfgaard, it'll take out their Terra Nova, right? So you can imagine how much value Iroquax gives and it fits really well in a deck like this. So that's that. Row the Kree, of course. Right, Nanglefar, Alters, Double Cross, Hillock, um, Dual Dulox, one that I normally don't see in this kind of deck, but I wanted to try it out, and I think it works quite well. I was thinking about putting Mata, but then I said, you know what? If I go Dual Dulox and Succubus, that's actually a better play than just putting a Mata. So this one here, we can move it to the top of deck. So if we run out of ways to tutor Vi, we can just basically push it to top deck for round three. So we're guaranteed to have that point slam. And in old previous versions of Vi, sometimes you would lose if you played all your tutors and you couldn't get that last Vi in round three. This is no longer gonna be a problem with the Doldu Lock, so I like it there. Prince Vellum is kind of a gamble card, so you wanna make sure if you're using this tutor, it's one of the last ones that you use once most of the gold cards are out of your deck. Otherwise, you're just kinda of in trouble with that, right? Like you're gonna be pulling a tutor with a tutor with a tutor. Like you wanna to pull tutors into Vi, right? And not be wasting any in between. So that's that. Like I said, tons of tutors and then we have tons of consumes we have two different consume cards coming off of the um haunt scenario we've got another two bargists here we've got the two slizzards the two banshees and the two leader charges so you can imagine that it's enough to support vi but it's also enough to support the succubus because slizzard has unlimited ceiling of consumes and we have things like the stratagem to keep it going right so that it survives the first turn and then this has two consumes per each, and we have three of them total, right? So already there's six consumes, leaders two, you know, it gets quite crazy. Banshees, of course, added to that. So again, lots to go around. If we're really desperate for another one, for whatever reason, we could potentially take one off the lock with the Chimera, but, you know, oftentimes you'll find yourself going for Succubus or Fuka, depending on the round, right? If I have a Succubus in hand round one, I'll play it from hand, but I'll take Fuka round one kind of thing. If I need more Succubus later, maybe I'll take one um, later from the Doldu Lock. But that's pretty much it. Um, not a lot of complexity with this deck. You just basically put stuff down, jam points. But uh, you'd be surprised. I still mess it up sometimes. Um, it's a nice like autopilot deck, though, if you just want to play something that's easy to play. Relatively fun to play, but I can imagine that when you do the same thing every game, it could get a little bit boring after time. But uh, yeah. I mean, we'll get through the rest of the cards here. We have Witch Apprentice, so Sabbath at the end of your turn, boost self by two. It just makes sense, right? Everything's going so tall. Sabbath is easy to get. 
put this out at the end of the row to defend the round or to bleed, you're getting two points per turn passive pretty easy. Okay. Um, that, like I said, the hounds would be good in addition to that, but I find these are better than hounds. So we just want to get to Sabbath quickly for these versus playing hounds from hand first turn. And honestly, hounds in a short round suck. So this just felt better in that spot. My old version had Noon Wraiths. I felt like we don't really need them there. They were just in there for the Death Wish tags, but these are a major upgrade. So we have enough Death Wish units, obviously, to proc the scenario was no problem. By itself can do it. But again, I have other stuff just in case. We have a thinning package that I don't necessarily take, but we could take if we have consumes and we don't have vies. So the, this is there. You'll often see me actually mulligan back the thinning package because I feel like the consumes are best used on the primary target first, right? And we have two, a primary and a secondary. So these are literally just like a third target and that's pretty much it. We have like nothing in the way of control. So I want to make sure that we have something. If we're playing against like Hyperthin or Colgrim or like um, most decks with exception to maybe some Skellige decks and maybe elves that don't go exceptionally tall, we have spores. Otherwise, if we're not thinking it's going to be a good card in that matchup, we just put it back in the deck and we've only committed four provisions to have it, so it doesn't really change the deck a whole lot, right? So, other than that, pretty standard. I talked about the hot fix to the Wild Hunt Warrior. Definitely one of the better Wild Hunt changes, believe it or not. I think with the patch, I really like what they did with this card. I think it's great, but I don't think it's too tuned. Like, I think it's just right where it should be. Good value card, good synergistic card with that archetype, but it can be played in other monsters decks, which is good. So that's that. And uh, I do recommend playing it. I think we finished around 2430 and we're not even done placements yet. And I've just been jamming a few games this morning, having fun with it. So if you're looking for something to get into pro rank and uh, nothing else is working for you right now, I definitely recommend trying this before people start teching against it. And if you guys enjoy the content that you see on the channel, don't forget to sub. We're pushing for 6,500 by the end of the month. I keep making up these goals, but that's how we get them done, right? And uh, I'll be back with another video tomorrow. So we'll see you guys then. Enjoy your day. Talk to you soon. All right, so we got Ursine Ritual up first. And guys, I know I'm fully aware of this, but uh, I'm probably going to get a couple comments talking about how I'm better than this and how I shouldn't be playing Vi, but... <laughs> it is what it is, man. I gotta play everything once in a while, you know? That's how you stay sharp. Now, we got thinning, we got engine, we got engine, we've got lots of tutors. Doldu Lock and the the source or the succubus is gonna be like a little bit of a a twist. Something I'm just trying out here. You know, I wanna say I could probably get away with we need a backup consume. Forget about the thinning. We need to take our consumes on the good stuff, right? Yeah. Alright, you know what? There we go. We don't have dominance, but we can get it. Don't have a gutting slash. And everything's just great, you know? I was going to pull it out for you. You didn't have to... Here. We'll see if we can brick something. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, it's too early for this. Giggling like a freaking kid. Because <laughs> I played a Vi. <laughs> Uh, it's seven in the morning. I mean, I've been up for I've been up for a while. They're just killing that out of spite, aren't they? I have like a really good idea. Playing Doldu Lock, getting the. Uh... Are they just not gonna click? All right. Just keep rotating this here. You want a tall card? I got a tall card too. It feels wrong. Don't get me wrong. Like it but it feels wrong to like not play the hound like right away, you know? Like realistically we should, but I feel like our time here is like limited, you know what I mean? Especially with something like this coming out. So 
yeah, 40 to 13, like 50 to 30, you know what I mean? Like, we have to play like this, otherwise we just don't, you know? We gotta get that carryover, man. We got that, uh, where is he? 60. They're so mad. 50 nothing. Okay. That's, I mean, the best we're going to get, right? Like, how do you even keep up with that? Like, 50 points. I don't know. If they want to go into a long round three, I could just play lock and click. Which then we can save some wow bad draws. Let's go one. Nice. We'll do. We don't need thinning. We have literally 10 cards to thin. So we'll have to run these sooner than later. We'll have to do the lock. It works out kind of well too, because we could play the Vi Leader, the Vi Lock. And then click. I see. Get it started, just in case they pass. But for whatever reason, I think they're going to try and push it 2-0. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, we have spores in deck. I'm going to wait on that. Because we do have the last say, right? Here's what we'll do. Click. You know. Set it up for next round. <clears throat> this would suck against Nilfgaard though if they have Cantarella, but no one's really running that. You know, dominance is a hard thing to come by here. We're still up. I think we can just afford to play some cards like this from hand. What do you need? Like, we've got ways to get... Is that the whole thing? That's really bad, you know? Five point removal, where are you at? All of a sudden, we're down by 10 points. If I go for a random gold card, we're getting... I think we'll just play it safe here. We'll play it slow. It would be a shame, though, if we lose to that one play. Like, we should just be able to answer that card at the end of the turn, like the end of the round, but, you know, still annoying. I just don't want to go tall until they're done, you know what I mean? So if I have to play something, it'll probably be the Bargist here, yeah? Yeah. Just minimal loss, you know? We should be able to get it with two buys and a... Uh Fifty. <laughs> okay. Now we can just deal with this crap here. Oh, 
I'm so thankful that I decided to cram a spores in the deck. Yeah. Um, random gold card means one of three. But we need to make sure we know what it is. So I have to play this. Yeah. Nice value. I'm thinking about maybe, well, no, I mean, this is just like a one-off matchup. If it continues to play like that, I'm thinking about putting in one of the new Wild Hunt reworks. The Doldu Lock thing got bled out of us, but that's fine. Uh, let's see if we can pull a gold card. Pig's not going to see any value here. Um, we could do... I think this stays, this goes. No, this goes, this... Yeah. Nice. So, it's got to be... It's got to be Haunt. Yeah, yeah, we'll give them this. We'll take it. Nice. Good pulls. Just, uh, jam... They used a heat wave, so I'm expecting that they don't have a second heat wave, right? I think we still play this. Just because uh, I want to get, like, we want to get something else. Yeah. We're not going to consume, we're like, we're not going to, yeah, we're not going to consume the buy here. We should just be okay. Yeah. Not bad, not bad. Alright, let's go back in here. We got Nilfgaard Double Cross up next. You gotta love pulling Vi in hand, right? We can play this from hand too as setup. Pigs aren't bad here. It means we can really push in round one. Spores is actually not bad if they make a copy of the pig. This seems kind of slow. This probably gets a joust. Maybe we take the haunt for the consumes. So, be one... I think that's the play. We take Haunt and the Bargist here. That's okay. We'll just jam it down first turn. And I'm hoping that it's been so long since people played this that they don't expect that we actually have it. Like, that's kind of the big part about it, is that element of the surprise. And what's cool, too, is we could take Onero into maybe even... Iroquax, like, we know what we're getting to. Here, let's put some pressure on. We gotta get this done. I wanna take the Terra Nova out for nothing. We'll just, okay, that's fine. We'll jam two Vi's, put down pigs, just run away with it. Yeah. <clears throat> it's probably a Leo Nero first, though, if you think about it. Because we don't really want to use Prince. Prince is too random. There's a lot to waste. Angolim. <laughs> Dolu Lock's probably like the bad pull for them. They're like, what? <laughs> Surely they take... Uh, either Succubus or Fuka. I think Fuka's probably safer for them. Because they could just make Bargus copies consume and then get the, the Thrive. Yeah, and if they do it that way too, we have the Spores. That's fine. Here. We definitely want to go tall here. Just get that out of the way. Jam the two pigs. Hopefully they don't use tall punish right now. Otherwise we're in trouble. 
If they punish the Bargus at 22, I'm taking Prince, looking for Iroquois to take out their Terranova just because I feel bad, you know? I think people are starting to put in Angolim because um, there's more people running Scenario, right? Just hit uh, hit this. Yeah. Keep 25. Jam number one. That keeps us up. We got to keep running with it, right? And we'll just get the second one online. That's huge. I don't think we care. We just go number two. Couple different things we could do here. Oh, so they're just going for it. That's fine. Move the tallest to the top. I know the next card's gotta be here. Let's just do what we have to do. Jam this row. That's fine. I actually think I'm taking this. Not that I want to, but I think it's supposed to be like the right thing to do here. Did I just... I guess... Oh, damn. <laughs> I forgot the row's full. <laughs> Such a sad... We could have got rid of the Terra Nova too. Yeah. I don't know what to say about that. It's kind of... Kind of awkward. <laughs> Brain dead by, right? Here. Put down, uh... That'll keep me up. I don't think that they're going to lead around one. If they do lead around one, they're going to get the spores, which is actually pretty good. So it makes me kind of want to play spores next, even if it's like a liability. We kind of have to keep it a little bit smarter here just because we, uh, you know, messed up on the whole Terra Nova front row thing. I've totally forgot at the time that it comes to the opposite row. So I think what we'll, yeah, just make up for it here. And if we can play bad and still win, then we're doing just fine. Um, I think what I'm supposed to do, though, we, we can make up for things. We can, can actually consume the, the Joaquin, and I'm thinking last card might be Coup, right? And they don't want to use it, maybe because uh, they don't want to pull Terra Nova. Oh, they're not going to get anything good with that. Okay. You know, I actually think I'm willing to trade, like... I'm really upset about that misplay. But uh, I think I'm willing to trade... Round loss for... here. We can eat it next turn. They go up two, we play that from hand. They know what we have. So they're gonna play it, surely, because they know it'll be enough to win the round. Oh, so that's what it is. All right. So we managed to survive, like, despite, you know. 
Now, at the end of your turn, if there's another succubus in your graveyard, summon self. So it doesn't work like that, but we can go this way. And then get the two. It's good to show you guys, though, the good with the bad, right? Put that back. Vargas is, like, kind of good to float. I can't really complain about that. We just... We probably just play. We go, uh... Yeah, we'll go Vi. Consume. Actually, better yet. Second up here. We'll just float that first. Just play that for points, like done. Imagine I didn't like we'd obviously just throw well, we kind of threw a little in round one, but... We have one, two... Got a couple tutors left. They took a pig. They could play a pig with Terranova. I think the other one's a tall punish. Probably going to be Yen because they played Muzzle. So this will be the Terranova. Oh, it's a Bra Oh, yeah, Brathens is a thing for sure. 21. We have to, right? Yeah. Even if I'm expecting them to get rid of those 22 points and win the round by one, it is what it is. Good. Good. And good. Fuka, probably off that. Um... Play the highest unit in the deck. It's going to be this. It's This isn't doing a whole lot. It's playing for four, six. Okay, you know, it's it should just be enough anyways. We'll play this first. Yeah, I think it's Fuka. We'll just play it. And we can we can basically proc it, right? This is kind of the idea. Just proc it by two. And then just slam this for points. Click the location, yeah. We didn't get the consumes off that, but if you haven't noticed, like we missed uh, actually four consumes. So we got it here, even though I really messed up in round one. I didn't see Terra Nova though. All right, we got Dead Eye Ambush up here. See what we can do. Everyone's using the same leader skin, and they're using like the same card back. It's either the elf card back or the stock one. And yeah, I just never know if I'm playing against the same person twice. That's all. We've got a haunt round one, which is good. Because we have haunt round one, we can probably dump back some of these consumes, maybe. I think we don't take this. It's like number one rule. I learned that from Red Rain. You don't take the thins. 
you take Divide, <laughs> and it just seems to work that much better. Now, Spores could be kind of good. If they jam scenario, we got to do this quick, though. One, two, three. Uh, let's put that back. Yeah, that's good. This engines, right? Okay, so I can take out their Verno if they don't have an end. That would be huge, right? Actually, it could be their Sim... <gasps> Let's go. Okay, so that's what we're doing. Jam. Now, they're just going to basically go and take a Waylay. And I think they're just going to do that. Makes sense. Or take an Archer. But at least we get the second one. Okay, they don't have it. So we're going for it, guys. Number one. And I learned my lesson. The... Game against Nilfgaard, right? Taking um, Iroquax on a row that was kind of full. And then we didn't get the Terra Nova out. Whoops, right? Again... I'm actually thinking about subbing these out for something like one of the wild hunt cards, you know, give some frost or something like that. Here, we gotta get rid of, uh, we gotta get the Simlas out. I think that, I honestly have a feeling it's in their deck. Elves never draw exactly what they need round one, right? Here. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, they, they have it then. It's still tons of points we got away from them. It's like you'd never know that, uh... Okay, there we go. They're starting to catch up. We probably lay down the framework. We gotta get this online, otherwise we just don't do too well. You know what I mean? And if they pass, we push. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Do it again. We gotta protect ourselves a little bit here from, uh, from that wide punish, right? So we'll go nice and tall and make them have to use a heat wave on maybe the Bargus if they have it, but I don't think they have it because most versions that I've been seeing with the Venadane don't have room for the heat wave. Some do, but I don't think they do. Alyssa as well. Now we're up, right? So they want to stay up. Okay. I kind of like just playing that. If they remove it, we take the Bargus and do the same thing. If we have to push, we can use Vi and use a leader. Spores is actually terrible here, though. At least they don't see the threat of the uh, Banshee. 61. We've got room, though, like, just with this one play here, so we'll do it. Sixteen. Like, it's a lot of points, you know? Get the engine value on both of these. Just consume it goes right back in the deck. Up by three. Nice and clean. And potentially, we can go and we can just use Bargast here. Like, first, maybe consume that. It's kind of suspicious. Maybe they're running Scorch. You see them chipping it down? <laughs> I mean, it, it, worst case, we just play into it and then... 
No, I guess not. 66. Um, we're kind of good here, aren't we? I don't want to use a leader charge. I'm just going to wait. If they want to, uh... If they want to pass here, like, it's their pass. However, they know it's going to be brutal. Because, um, we're going to take the buy. And if they play, we're going to take the buy. Now, if they have a rebuke, that kind of sucks, but we still take leader buy. No spores would be bad. Okay. I think we could still afford to take the buy, right? Yeah. It it's gonna be twenty points. So yeah. And we have, like, a bad last... I think that their last play is maybe the sim last they're holding out on. Because, yeah. We'll tuck away the spores. I don't think it's going to do much for us here. If we just pull big tutors, we're fine. I don't think that they have a heat wave, like I said, so... Tutor, tutor. And we'll dump that. Probably Spores first, yeah. We could float Slizzard. I don't mind. Because if I can save Leader, it's better. Obviously Succubi or Succubuses <laughs> aren't really going to be a thing, but... I'm not going to lie, this actually seems kind of broken. It doesn't seem like a lot of the matchups have enough to like to compete with it. We'll use uh, Decree first. Sim last. That's just going to go wild, isn't it? I do think that they're holding scenario. That's too bad. I wanted to get the full game for you guys. Because we had both leader charges, we had Prince, we had O'Nero, like it was kinda where we wanted to be, you know. Okay, can we keep playing? Yeah, good. I don't love Prince here because it gives them, like, points. So we'll... Well, actually, that's perfect. And then we can just, um... We can just set up one of these. Because we have, um... We've got the whole leader thing going on, right? So we can actually pull those next round. And then just, uh, you know... And then guarantee we top deck into Vi. That's perfect. There we go. We have to play it down because it's just going to be better for us. And then we just take it first. 25 points. Right. Click, get the extra two. I think we might actually just get the 2-0 here. But I'm going to keep leader just in case. Because we did take out the Averno in round one. 
And after this game, guys, I'm gonna go... Oh, we just got it. We just got it. Nice. At the end of the last game, I was um, basically just mentioning that I was gonna go make a swap in the Bronze End. So I put in the Warriors instead of the Hounds, just because I felt like they were more consistent. Because a lot of our energy wants like to go towards like putting down Vi and stuff like that. So uh, I'm going to try these for the deploy effect. I think they might actually be pretty good. Now we'll put that back. Uh, if I can take out their Aubra in round one, that would be huge, right? Aubra in or just their Aridin or whatever the case. So we'll try. Um, I don't think engines like this will survive. So we'll put that back. Dolduloc's kind of nice. Two Succubus or two Succubi aren't really that great. There we go, Vine Hand round one, that's good. This is gonna be our first game, I think, on, uh, on, uh, you know what I'm trying to say, right? <laughs> yeah, what, 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 do we call, what do you call it? Uh, on, uh, <laughs> Blue Coin, there you go. I'm just gonna play from hand, because I know it's Devotion. You can't lock it. Can't, I, it, that's actually kind of a taunt if you think about it. I don't mean it that way. It's just from an efficiency standpoint, it's the best thing to do. Right? There we go. And so what's nice about this matchup too is that it's going to be difficult for them to get dominance because we have Vi's. So kind of interesting. I think we just try and take another one here, right? We don't have to worry about that tall punish, which is really nice. It's going to give us, like, really good value on the consumes, which ultimately I think will give us a better round three play with the succubus thing. So keep that in mind. Um, I want to maybe float. Well, actually, we'll put the pig up, I think, right? It would provoke them to use the leader charge, but I think it's worth it. See what they got here. Sure. Two, six, twenty-two. We can run for it for a little bit. They'll push it back this turn, but it's fine. They push it back. We could just keep the frost to the same row. Right? We just go like this. Basically do the same thing. We're back at it. And, uh, I think it's time for us to put down... Oh, we're gonna, gonna push it again. <laughs> we kinda wanna keep... Like, I wanna keep Vi going. Or the pig going, but um Okay, you know here's what I think we do. Just cause it seems like fitting, you know? Okay, so they have it in hand. Got it. So they go up by two, we go up by two, we take the round loss, we have to play. And that's fine to just put this here. We need to play it anyways. We didn't play Haunt, so that's something we can jam. Vi's behaving from hand, good. Um, this can go back. This can probably go back, we don't need two. The hand's not very good. I just don't know how well we do in like a... In a long round three, that's the problem, so... Okay, we can guarantee, yeah. That's what we'll do. 
We'll play this. We'll play Fuka. Or better yet, we can even play a Succubus, right? Striga is uh, definitely something I was thinking in place of the Phantom if you need to figure something out like that. Just because the deployability is nice and it has four damage, so it kind of plays like a selection. I don't really like running selection in the new version, so pretty good. There's the Auburn we're looking for. That's fine. I've already accepted the fact that we're probably going to go like pretty short round, you know what I mean? Here, we'll just play this. It's within reach, too. Now, playing a gold could mean playing... I think we still wait with it. It's kind of scary if you think about it. But Onero's nice. Yeah, if we're going to give them points, we'll do it this round. That's what I was afraid of. I should have just stuck with my gut. We can get one proc off of it, which is okay, and then we can just put Vi top deck and we can just trade. I think that's still the move. Yeah. Even if it means, like, potentially two cards down round three. Yeah, because every turn is going to be worth, like, 20 points. So we'll play this on the back row. Yeah. That's what we'll do. And... Assume that it should come back, right? Relax. Nice. So they got to play at least one. Two card advantage, I'm fine with. Spear tip's actually good. They probably have Oswald left. So it really just comes down to like. What do we get in addition to this? We need tutors. There's one. So that goes back. That's no good for us here. That's actually pretty good. So, yeah. We get at least two vice, you know? So what we'll do is we'll consume that one and play the second Vi at 22 from uh, from deck. And that'll be pretty good. We stack the row. It's quite a lot. <laughs> uh, this is, it's too, a random row, yeah? There's no way. No matter how much frost you have, I don't think it matters. And that's going to be the Osril. Or, okay, the Wrath. 
So two cards down going into round three is wild. All right, so we got one more here, and I think we need one more game because I just made a change to the deck, but also could have played a little bit better, and I think one of those games at least, right? I don't think we benefit from Spore as much in this match here. I think the Hero Quacks could be really good, right, in taking out the Vakusha, so that's obviously a plus. I don't know if I really want to use Arc Spore again. I think I might just want to put that back. And I kind of like having multiple consume engines just in case we lose some of them. This isn't really valuable considering we want to kind of have a tutor. That's a lot of consumes. That's fine. We'll float and we'll see where it goes. We have obviously Slizzard with maybe the Veil if we need it. Actually, that's fine here. I think maybe it's pirates taking different thinning options and no discard. Now, I kind of want to just, wow, kind of want to just consume that. I don't even know how important it is to win round one. Okay, so maybe they took out Coral? I don't know. Maybe it's Lippy. Maybe we get really lucky with this pull. Let's see. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take that. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, if they do a Fakusha, it's going to be in their hand. They pass on that. That's fine. How do I want to play it? I think what we're supposed to do is just take it. Because we have Haunt. We don't really need to use the stratagem here, right? We want to go into like a short round three. But we want to maintain last say. Again, Spores is not really what you want to see here. Vine Hand's perfect. Um, I think we actually put that back once again. We'll jam Haunt. We'll go from there. Things are looking pretty good so far, right? I don't think it really matters what row we play on. Unfortunately, if they have Fakusha, they'll probably just take it for another Morkvarg, which kind of sucks, but we kind of want to see that in round two. I have a strong feeling it's Lippy, though. Like, it's just so much thinning, you know what I mean? That's fine. It's just, if they're running Lippy, they're not running Cirrus because they've got Onslaught. Do we like Nagelfar here? We kind of do. I think before Nagelfar, we probably take Prince. Ah, it's just Pirates. It's getting all worried for nothing here. I think we do take Prince. That's like the perfect pull. Like, I'm happy with that because we get it back. And then, yeah. We'll just bait them here with a nice 40 point unit. I know they're going to have a hard time not taking that, right? I'm expecting a heat wave to be still in this deck, more than likely. Usually they have the second tall punish. That's fine. This doesn't play for a whole lot unless we do like back row. 
feel like it's probably just the succubus here. Imagine a Sporus, though. Like, that's the kind of thing I'm worried about. It's fine. We probably have another turn left here. Oh, whoops. I mean, it's the same thing. We're not doing damage. I think what I'm supposed to do is basically take Vargas off the Night Wraith and then um, go and take Nagelfar and try and get a good Nagelfar, right? Yeah, that's what we'll do. His Nagelfar consume, we don't have to use leader. If they sense it though, we're in trouble. Yeah, that's whatever. Good pull. And then that's probably where we pass, right? Yeah. And we're sitting on like a 20 point lead, so, well, 18 points. So we should, I think we should get card back unless they've just been waiting on a tall punish they didn't use. That's not enough. They have to use leader as well. So that could change some things, but I don't think it's going to change too much. Like, I think if we can get three, we win. Let's see here, Pig, Fuka, Oniro, into that. We need one more tutor. Yeah, I think Pig can go. That's even better. Now, we got to make a choice. We can either use, well, I think it's always going to be succubus here, like off of this. Kind of just worried about like all my points going into Vi. So uh, yeah, what we'll do is we'll take Vi consume off. Let's say okay. We'll we'll take leader off of Succubus so that maybe we get a good bounce. Kind of. That's a tough one. It's just that we can't, you know? I think we have to actually take this here. Yeah, we'll go like this. This is really pushing all out, like everything into one play though. If they have a heat wave, 
There it is. <laughs> I think we should still win. 28 points? Yeah. Like, we haven't even finished placements yet. It's doing pretty good so far.